Allegations accuse Florida Governor Ron DeSantis of abusing Guantanamo Bay detainees during his tenure as a young Navy lawyer. These claims, however, lack supporting evidence. The New York Times investigation found no proof backing a former prisoner's assertion that DeSantis participated in force feeding and then laughed at the prisoner's distress. North Carolina's Republican-led legislature is seeking to gain control of state and local election boards from the Democratic governor, Roy Cooper. This move, viewed as fueling a political feud, comes after a previous attempt was deemed illegal by the state Supreme Court and rejected in a public vote. Self-branding is taking center stage in the 2024 presidential election, with Republican candidates such as Ron DeSantis, Tim Scott, and Vivek Ramaswamy wearing clothing that promotes their campaigns. This shift towards personal branding, featuring candidates' names boldly across their attire, signifies a new trend in political marketing strategy. Facing a potential government shutdown within a week, President Biden and Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg are urgently calling on Republicans to address their spending dispute. Without a resolution, anticipated consequences include unpaid military personnel, disrupted air travel, and closure of public safeguarding programs. California Governor Gavin Newsom vetoed a bill regarding parental support of a child's gender identity in custody cases. Despite his commitment to transgender rights, Newsom raised concerns over regulation specificity and potential misuse. The bill's sponsor, Assemblywoman Lori Wilson, expressed deep disappointment over the veto. Former President Donald Trump's ongoing criminal investigations have sparked increased rage among his supporters leading to escalated threats, even towards FBI officials' families. Authorities are now wary about this political unrest potentially turning violent, as anxieties grow amidst Trump's legal battles. The increase in open-air fentanyl use and fatalities has caused a divide among New Yorkers over its decriminalization or stricter law enforcement. This crisis has been underscored by the suspected fentanyl poisoning of a one-year-old boy in a Bronx daycare center. NASA's seven-year mission, OSIRIS-REx, is coming to an end with the expected return of asteroid samples this Sunday. These pristine space rocks, harvested from the asteroid Bennu, may offer insights into the origins of our solar system and the beginning of life on Earth. Escalating numbers of Venezuelans are making their way to the United States due to the protracted economic and humanitarian crisis in their home country. Despite the adoption of various global policies, the dire economic conditions have driven people to embark on this perilous journey in search of a better life. The FBI is looking into abuse allegations against the Baton Rouge Police Department involving a site known as the Brave Cave. A lawsuit claims Grandma Turnell L. Brown was abusively interrogated and humiliated in a clandestine torture warehouse after mixing two kinds of prescription pills in one bottle. Ukrainian forces have utilized heavy artillery supplied by Western allies to inflict significant damage on Russian lines near Bakhmut. The strategic capture of the village of Klishchivka has bolstered Ukraine's counteroffensive, aiding in further advancement despite Russian resistance. Tropical Storm Philippe, the latest named storm of the 2023 Atlantic hurricane season, has formed in the Atlantic. With sustained winds of 50 miles per hour, it was located 1,225 miles from the Cabo Verde Islands on Sunday evening but poses no threat to land according to forecasters. Despite a decade-long international mercury ban, hazardous mercury is still extensively used in gold mining, continually leading to poisoning. Particularly in Suriname, miners like Giovanni de Jesus Aguiar use mercury to separate gold from mud, unwittingly contributing to an ongoing environmental health crisis. Nearly 400 ethnic Armenians have fled the breakaway region of Nagorno-Karabakh, crossing the border into Armenia following a recent military offensive that reinstated the region under Azerbaijan's control. With loomed uncertainty, more refugees are on the verge of leaving everything behind. NASA is hosting a teleconference to discuss the annular solar eclipse, popularly known as the Ring of Fire, expected to occur on October 14, 2023. The eclipse will be visible from Oregon to Texas, with a partial view across the contiguous U.S. Additionally, preparations for the total solar eclipse in 2024 are underway. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to get your daily dose of news.